Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, again, five amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip that will tell you exactly when the bull market top will be in. This is the first indicator I'm always watching. I will do another indicator tomorrow and the day after, guys. Yes, also giving you a travel tip and answering two questions. One question is about why I'm still renting instead of buying, because why do I pay a market fee if it is not? Not necessary if I have enough money and the second question was why did he are you still working so hard if you have so much money why do you still make some YouTube and chill buy bit for example or blowfin and I'm gonna answer of course that question and of course also an inspirational quote and talking about the news as in Australia they want to go cashless and that is exactly what I don't want let's jump into the charts first to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today BAM The first chart for today, guys, of course, this four hour chart, I always start with a four hour chart. Beautiful buy signal again over here. I will draw a little bit. The buy signal was over there closing above the other stepping line. The blue line was crossing above the white line. Uh, the green line was even on top. Here, the green also started to come bigger. And then the trade was all the way up to the top of that Bollinger Band over there, guys. Beautiful. Uh, we could see the red line now on top. We can see the blue line crossing the green line. We can see the green declining, even a little bit yellowish at the top. So yeah, indication to sell. And um, if you want to sell later and, and wait for maybe a bullish continuation, then you sell when the candle closes down below the yellow stepping line, but then the profit will be less, of course. If we zoom out now to a daily chart, we can see a still that beautiful pattern that we are following, guys. Um, on, and I'm still drawing, look how beautifully we are moving inside this pattern, uh, trying to reach all these beautiful levels. This green line, if we would reach that green line now, then again, you can see this uh, sort of inverse head and shoulder pattern over here. And again, like this, like that. And then here we should reach a green line again, and this would be the neckline. Then we could have a breakout to this level, and then even maybe to the 78 to 80k levels, guys. So that's how I look at it. Yes, sloppy hands again, but that's what we need to do. We need to break this green line over here, the 65,000 US dollar line. That is what we need to break. When we break that, then we can retest it, and then we can go higher again like that, guys. If we don't do it, we can fall back even to here, these 56k levels. Before there is a continuation again higher, just keep adding at those depths if we fall to those levels. I'm going to show you two beautiful scenarios now, a bearish one and a bullish one. Um, so pay attention, don't be shocked, just learn from it. This one is the bearish scenario, guys. And that bearish scenario is telling us, hey, if we would fall down out of this pattern over there, we can touch this area over there. And that's the 50K area that we would go fall down to, all the way to 52, 53K. That is what a lot of people are talking about. That is if we break out of this pennant in a bearish way, guys. Then, still after that, we will expect that bull market to go up all the way to 120 to 160K. So even if we fall down, that will be the last opportunity for you to fill your bags at a price between 50 and 60K before we take off. This is the bearish scenario. Now, if you now look at the bullish scenario, then this was now the invalidation level. We are touching at 58K. We are now going a little bit higher low, like 61K, and we're gonna create another higher low over here, around 63K, and then we're gonna continue all the way up to 90 to 100,000 US dollar before the end of this year. That is what could happen as well. That's the bullish scenario. I expect this bullish scenario to play out. A lot of other people expect this bearish scenario to play out. And the beautiful part is that you don't need to decide what you believe that will play out as you will be buying a little bit more Bitcoin when we dip to those levels. If we dip to those levels. If not, everything is fine. Now, let's go to another chart. This one over here. This one is telling us, hey, there's a lot of liquidations happening when we reach the level of 68,000 US dollar. So what do we do? We will probably find that 68K and liquidate a shit out of people, just like we have been doing every time again and again and again. The Binance BTC UCT liquidation heat map shows us which price levels a lot of people will be liquidated. And mostly we will visit those price levels. They were before at this area, 57K, we liquidated a shitload of people, now they are at 68k. Again, we will liquidate a shitload of people by going there with the price. And who knows exactly what is happening? The whales. 
And that's how we see that the whale addresses that are active in the last zero to one day, so active in the last days, is a high, a peak. The whales are accumulating a shitload at the moment. Why are they accumulating a shitload? Because they know this will be the last dip before we go into that massive second part of the bull market. They don't want to miss out on this huge part of the bull market and this one. They already saw the confirmation. They won't drop much further. Yeah, 57k, 58k. They don't even care about 52k. They are accumulating now. Please read this chart well. The whales active in the last zero to one days. This is happening. A shitload of whales are accumulating because they exactly understand what is happening in the market. You should be accumulating as well. Dollar cost average into Bitcoin. Even if you look at plan B stock to flow model, we have that first dark red dot over there. After those blue dots. That's not that the market is heating up. It means that we have less months to the next halving. But it's very cool to see that every time when we went from the blue dots to the red dots, the blue dot was higher, the red dot was lower, but then we had 12 more red dots that went higher and higher and higher, and the yellow dots even higher. The blue dots were here, the red dot was lower, and the 12 new red dots were all higher, higher, and higher, and higher. The blue dot is here, the red dot, the first one, is a little bit lower. The next 12 red dots will be higher and higher and higher, and each dot is representing one month. That is how Bitcoin is moving against a 200 week moving average. That black line is a 200 week moving average. And if you now look really close to that black and that gray line, whenever they almost kiss each other, that's almost always when we go from blue to red, these kiss each other, after that they take a distance and that is the bull market. When blue goes to red, they kiss each other, after that they take a distance, that's the bull market. Blue to red, they kiss each other, and after they will spread and will be the next bull market. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, of course, again, short term, beautiful volatility. I told you I didn't expect 52K. Where are we already at 52, 53K? Yes, I opened the trade. As you can see, the trade is at the moment in profit. Bam, over here, I do also trade, yes. And this trade was done on Blowfin. Signing up to Blowfin today will give you like an extra bonus of 10% on your deposit. So depositing 75K will give you a $7,500 bonus. But if you deposit today on Blowfin, you can also win a Rolex or an Apple Vision Pro or many other products. So check the link down below, guys. And yes, of course, buy a bit as well, giving you a 30,000 US dollar deposit bonus and many other offers as well. So use those two links, buy a bit. Number one, my favorite one, Brofin. Number two, non-KYC. And then we, of course, APEC DEX, the decentralized one. Those three exchanges are the top three exchanges to me at the moment, guys. But the long term, guys, the long term, nothing changed for Bitcoin. As you could see in that last chart of plan B, that dark red dot is the first dot of all the red dots in the next 12 months. Because each red dot is indicating how much closer we get to the next halving. And if you can see on that chart, that the first red dot is always a dot that is a little bit lower than the blue dot, but after it only higher red dots, then you understand that the next 12 months will be amazing for Bitcoin. You should be buying Bitcoin. Don't wait for 52K, buy dollar cost average at the moment at these beautiful levels around 60K, guys. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. This week in the trading tips, I'm going to teach you exactly how to see that the bull market top will be in. The first indicator we're going to take a look at is the Pi Cycle Top Indicator. But I'm going to show you this behind my screen. Bam! The Pi Cycle Top Indicator is the first indicator I'm going to educate you about that will show you exactly when the bull market top will be in. Now, how do you find that? You open a chart, a Bitcoin chart, preferably the BLX guys, the Bitcoin Liquid Index. It has the most data from all charts, the BLX. So if you open that one, you go to indicators, in the top you will type Pi Cycle Bitcoin Top Indicator, you can see it already over there, and you just click that one. Now that one will be on the chart. As you can see, in the two previous bull markets, that Pi Cycle Top Indicator indicated exactly where the top was. How did that Pi Cycle Top Indicator do it? If you go here, you can choose uh, in the settings of that Pi Cycle Top Indicator to show the moving averages. It's a combination of the 350 daily moving average and the 111 daily moving average, as you can see, and you just click OK. 
Now, whenever that line crosses, when the red line crosses that green line, that is exactly when the top indicator will start to flash over there. Here it again, when the red line crosses that green line, that is when the pi cycle top indicator is set, the top is in. So in these two bull markets, it was completely right. Of course, this bull market, we went a little bit more higher, a few K in that second run. But if you got out over there, you got out at a beautiful top. Now, when that red line again will start to cross that green line, that is when that pi cycle top will be there. In my opinion, it will again be 16 to 18 months after the halving. We just had that halving, so that will be somewhere here in September 2025. So that is where I expect that pi cycle top again to flash. But to be very clear, when it comes to predicting the top of a market, nobody has a crystal ball. We can't predict that. That's why we use these indicators. Whenever this indicator is going to flash on my screen, I will be very careful. I'm going to check the market and there's probably a moment that I will start to take some profits and exchange some bitcoins into stable coins. Tomorrow I will talk about the second indicator that I use to determine when the top is in. In the travel tip guys, I'm going to answer one of the questions. The question was, Didi, why are you still renting? Why do you think that renting is better? And if you rent, somebody else needs to own. Isn't that true? And if you're renting, you're paying a marker fee. Why are you doing this? Now, first of all, I have a complete different vision about the future than most of the people have. I do think in the far future that all these buildings, all that real estate, won't be owned by people anymore. I believe these buildings, cars and any other entity will become their own entity. So that means they will have their own bank account and will be owning themselves. How? Because me being their bank, we are going to be our own bank. We as people are going to loan that building money to buy itself. That building will be registered as an own entity somewhere and that will be able to fund itself with that Bitcoin wallet. I will lend that building money to buy itself. And that a building, which probably will be a smart building, will do all the repairs itself. It will hire people when it analyzes something is broken. And those people will be paid from the blockchain wallet. And if I go and stay in that building, I will pay that building with my Bitcoin wallet. And that building has their own bank account through Bitcoin, being their own bank, their own entity, not being owned by people anymore, or any other human being or alien or whatever that might be in the far future. But in the far future, I think that building owns itself. We will be the banks that loan or lend the money to that building to buy itself. And that building will be paying me an interest every month. And that building will decide itself because it's a smart building, AI building. Just think of the possibilities of blockchain, AI, Internet of Things, all of that combined. The far future, we won't be owning buildings or cars anymore. They will be owning themselves. Or maybe even other artificial intelligence robots will be owning those cars. The future is going to look completely different than we think. So that's the first reason why I think a long-term investment in real estate is not that good at the moment for me. And the second thing is, guys, by renting, I know exactly what my costs are. You say we have a markup fee. I don't see that markup fee because I'm just renting. If you buy property, you also have markup fees. But those markup fees, you don't have control on. Because if the government decides that an uh, owner of a building needs to pay more taxes, then you need to pay more taxes that year. And if the government decides that you need to pay more for your garbage, hmm, you will need to pay more for your garbage. So there's a lot of things that you don't have control on when you own a building. So you never know how much you will be paying every year for owning a building and maintaining the building. Maybe the cost of repairs of the roof, maybe the cost of everything will go up. You don't know. With renting, I know exactly what I pay. And if I do a yearly rental contract, I know exactly the next 12 months, I will be paying this amount, not more, not less. So for me, renting is still the safest one. And of course, the third reason that we rent is very simple. We want to be flexible. I don't want to own real estate. In the Netherlands, we call it fast food, which means you are fast for good. You are stuck forever. That's what it means in the Netherlands. Because why would I need to own that if I can also use it and have that capital work for me in another way that gives me more return on investment. By holding my capital in Bitcoin, I will have more return investment than holding my capital in real estate. 
and I want to have the optimal return of investment so I can rent all that real estate that I want all over the world. Then when the shit hits the fan, like you need to wear this face diapers and again or whatever it is, I will be able to go and live somewhere else without any issues with real estate or all that materialistic stuff that I own because I need to take it to other places. And when the shit hits the fan, guys, I don't want to be that guy that needs to carry real estate or like kilos of gold on this bag to escape Europa uh, to the other side of the world because there is a little bit more safer, a little bit normal, or, and where people win their Eurovision Song Festival because of the great song or whatever it is, and not because who or what they are. So yes, for me, when the shit hits the fan, I want to be flexible. Flexibility is the next ability. I want to be able to move out of Europe or any other continent if they don't give me the freedom that I want to have as a human being. So that is the third reason why I prefer renting above owning real estate. answering one of the questions of the followers guys the question was Didi if you make so much money why do you still spend so much time in making YouTube videos luring people into Bybit or Blowfin for example now it's very simple the first reason for this is my passion is in educating other peoples I achieved a certain amount of freedom with my family because of Bitcoin I want to educate others how to achieve the same amount of freedom. I don't want to be sitting there on the beach every day just drinking cocktails. Try that. I tried it for a year in Thailand, just on the beach, in Koh Phangan, cocktails and doing nothing else. That didn't give any fulfilling to me. I need to have a cause in life. I need to be doing something. I found that Bitcoin was that beautiful protection against inflation of your capital. So that is what I want to educate people about. And yes, that it became a crazy passion and cool thing that I want to do every day. Yeah, I just continue doing it. So in the beginning, I just made one video a week. Now I'm making like daily videos because I just really like what I'm doing. Second reason is I am not luring people into Bybit, for example. I am protecting people to go into other exchanges because Bybit is by far the best exchange out there. I'm protecting you from joining all those exchanges that will scam you or that will have no liquidity or will go bankrupt and will take your money like FTX. I want you to be part of a safe exchange. And the safest exchange, in my honest opinion, is Bybit. The second one at the moment is Blowfin. The third one at the moment is Apex Pro, if you want to trade completely safe, that is decentralized. So that is my reason why I'm talking about Bybit. Not to shill Bybit, not to make some extra bucks over there, because yes, indeed, I have enough Bitcoins. But it doesn't mean I want to stop working. Third of all, I am an entrepreneur. And when you are an entrepreneur, you can never stop being an entrepreneur. You always want to do better than you already are doing. And I want to improve my videos. I want to improve my marketing skills. I want to improve my ed educational levels that I can give to you. I want to improve everything that I do in life. I don't want to be sitting there every morning drinking coffee and just looking at other people. I want to be active in this industry. I am a true Bitcoin believer. I am a fighter. I am an anarchist against all that centralized control that we are getting now from those governments. I'm going to talk about this a little bit later in the news because in Australia it's already happening. And that's why I am fighting all that centralized regime. Because I want to leave behind a beautiful future for my children. Not a social credit system tied to a central bank's digital currency so that they will be in full control. I don't want that future for my kids so I can sit there every day enjoying my cocktails and my bitcoins or I can fight with you guys in this revolution against all those centralized entities and create by that a beautiful future for our children. That is what we all collectively should do. You shouldn't be focusing just accumulating wealth because of doing your job that you don't like. Do something that you want to support. Do support the decentralization of the world against all the centralized entities, against the central bank digital currencies, and against a social credit system. That is the reason why I'm still making YouTube videos every single day in the morning and not going to the gym or drinking cocktails. Maybe the gym a little bit later today. The news for today, guys, is that a $267 billion bank, one of the biggest banks of Australia, I think it's called Macquarie Bank, sorry for the Aussies if I pronounce it wrong, announced that they are going to abolish cash. They are not going to accept cash anymore in 2024. I think it was November. From November this year, you won't be able to go with your cash to that bank anymore and give it to the bank back. You can still withdraw cash 
from other bank ATMs, not their bank ATM. So you can still go to a other bank ATM somewhere in the rest of the world and then withdraw cash up to $2,000. Just imagine you have like a million dollars on your bank account and then you are on holiday in Spain as an Australian person and then you can only cash $2,000 in Spain every day. Um, so that's a little bit weird, of course, that that bank is doing it, but they are going to abolish cash. And why? Because they want a cashless society. They say that digital currencies are better than cash. And of course, I agree with them if those digital currencies are non-central banks' digital currencies, if they are Bitcoin. Yes, then digital currencies are better, but the central bank's digital currency is by far not better than the current cash because the current cash you still have full control on guys if you withdraw two thousand dollars from an atm you can do whatever you want with it and they won't be able to see what you did with it if you will do that with central banks digital currencies two thousand central banks digital currencies into your telephone and spend them they will exactly see what you're doing that's a huge difference between the cash that we have now that still gives us freedom to spend our cash in a way that we want that nobody can trace it and the cash that they want us to use, the central bank digital cash, that can be traced all the way. If you buy too much alcohol, you will be sent to the AA, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You exactly know how a social credit system works, and that's exactly what we don't want. But if we look what is happening now in Australia, with that huge bank going cashless, then we understand that that is now slowly starting to happen, guys. We don't want that. We don't want those huge banks to go cashless in this way using central banks' digital currencies. We do want them to go cashless because they give us access to Bitcoin, a decentralized currency. So it's very important that you understand that what is happening now there is not good at all. I hate what is happening over there, guys. It's just terrible. I will take some place here in the shadow, guys, because else the image is not beautiful, but you won't be able to deposit checks anymore. You won't be able to deposit cash anymore. You won't be able to do anything with your cash money anymore in Australia. This is terrible. This is one of the biggest banks. Will all those other banks follow this bank? Will they all go cashless? I do believe that the World Economic Forum and all their buddies over there, you know, Klaus Schwab friends and all those shitheads, that they all want a cashless society because they want more control. Not because it is better for the people, because it's better for them. They want to have full control on whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever you want in life. And how do they do that? By getting full control through your finance. The more you use their currency, the more they will be in control. The more you use our currency, Bitcoin, the more you will be in control. It's simple as that. That quote is already on my website and everything for years. I believe that Bitcoin is a fight for freedom. Not only freedom of money, but freedom of expression, freedom of everything in life. Because blockchain, the technology that Bitcoin is being built on, will give us the possibility to decentralize the complete world and all those activities that they want to centralize now. We don't want a centralized regime. We don't want a centralized social credit system. We want a freedom, decentralized future for ourselves and for our kids. But it's starting already, guys. One of the biggest Australian banks going cashless is starting to root for a central bank's digital currency in Australia they can track their people even more and have more control on their people. If you then don't want to take some kind of medicine or whatever injection it is, you will lose access to your funds. They will then have the power that if you at that moment decide to not be getting some medicine or whatever it is to stop you from getting a flu or whatever it is, you will be able to lose access to your funds because they will be in full control of those funds when it will be a central bank's digital currency not with physical cash, not with physical gold, and definitely not with Bitcoin. So it's very important that you understand that difference between the cash you have in your pocket now, that you freely can use wherever you want without being traced, and the central bank's digital cash that they want you to start using in the future. Huge difference. Bitcoin is the first asset ever that is a replacement of that current cash system, that peer-to-peer -peer cash system, you can use Bitcoin in an anonymous way, wherever you want, how many you want, doesn't matter, and a combination of a store of value like gold. It's the first time in human history that we have an asset that is the best combo of all the assets around. And yes, a very long time ago, if you remember, you were able to use gold to pay because it was gold coins. And at that time, that was a very tr transmit-honest system. 
as everyone exactly knew that gold was the thing that you could use to store your value and pay. That digital gold nowadays is Bitcoin. It's a fight for revolution. It's a gateway to freedom. That is exactly what Bitcoin is, a gateway to freedom. So stop supporting those banks. Take all your cash, all your money, everything out of those banks and put it into Bitcoin, a deflationary store of value that you're able to use as a peer-to-peer -peer cash. That is why Bitcoin is so important for this world. And that will lead also to my inspirational quote for today, guys. I'm not just here to survive. I am here to thrive, guys. I am here to live my life to the fullest with some passion, with some compassion, with love, with all the energy I have. I am here to grab life by the balls and live that life that I want to the fullest, the way I want it, not the way those centralized entities want it. You all should be living your life with compassion, with passion, with humor, with love, full of it, every single day, living life to the fullest while you're fighting for that future freedom of your children and all the other generations coming after that, guys. And I think we collectively can still break that centralized system. I know we can. That's why I'm making these YouTube videos every day, like I just told you. It's very important that you see life not as something that you need to survive in. You need to thrive in life, not survive. Completely different. You survive when you're running from a lion or any other dangerous creature on this world. You thrive in life, you go for success, you go for it with full compassion and passion, full energy for what you want to achieve in life. Go for it. Don't let those centralized entities, that centralized regime, that centralized brainwashed box that you're living in stop you from living the life that you want to be living. Everything they do, all the commercials they make, all the education you got in the youth is to box you into a box with thoughts. You can only be like this, no different. It's time to break outside the box. Step outside with one toe, second toe, three toe, four toes, five toes, foot, knee, other foot. Step outside of that box and start to live that life that you want to live. Grab life by the balls and take full control. And my honest opinion, that's only possible when you exchange all your capital that is on your bank account, all your savings, it is under full control of those centralized entities. You're even supporting those centralized entities because with that money that you have in your bank, they are doing fractional banking, which means they can lend out more money to other people. Take all the power away from them and put it in our power, in Bitcoin. Decentralized. That is how we withdraw the cash from that system, put it into our new system that we are building. That's a freedom system. It's not about surviving. It's about thriving. Yes, I'm not an English speaking native, so maybe I thrive, thrive, say the wrong, completely wrong, but you know exactly what I mean. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else? I want to thank you for watching and wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again.